watch your step. It's kind of dark in the hallways, especially at night. As you can see, there's a lot of trash thrown about sometimes. But that's okay. The cleaning lady comes once a month. Come on in. This is my apartment. I would like to show you around if that is okay. Let's begin with uh, the entrance. This is my it's 50 gray. Shades of Grey <laughs> Red Room of Pain exit door. Um, and then we'll move quickly on to this door. It may seem like a closet, doesn't it? It's a very small door, but when you look inside, it's a toilet where there have been many clogs and poops. Next we see, obviously you didn't see that there was a shower or anything in there. That's what this little door goes to. You can take a look inside and we have a bathtub and some shower equipment as well as my laundry rack. Oh, and if you look down here, we call that a tumpin. Usually we wash our clothes in there or we take baths in them. Okay. Next, we are moving to the storage units, which is this long closet. If you look in here, I have all my winter stuff and sweaters and extra blankets for anyone who would like to come and visit. And up here, there's also some storage, but I have some luggage and some broken boxes for those gare dwellers who need burning items. It's getting a little hot in here. I think it's time to take off this gel. Two hours later. Now, if you follow me into the kitchen, I will show you my appliances. First, we will start with this washing machine. It's not your average washing machine. Basically, you have to fill this up with a ton of water, your clothes, after having soaked it in the bathtub. And once that has finished rinsing and soaping, you come over to this lovely side and it spins out the excess water from your clothing so they don't take too long to dry because that's a problem here. Next, we will move to my miniature oven, which cooks quite well. We've baked a Christmas turkey in here and cookies with students. This is the Peace Corps issued water filter uh, that we all get here in Peace Corps because we might get poisoned from the water, so we have to clean it, okay? Uh, next, we have my refrigerator, not issued by Peace Corps. I have some frozen chicken and brown sugar in there. And if you look down here, we have a plethora of items that you can find if you are in an IMAX center. Sorry, Somers. Sorry, Somers. Next, we have a sink and some cabinets with items, more food. Again, I'm at center. This is a staple in a lot of Mongolian households. It is a rice cooker, and not only do Mongolians use this for rice cooking, but they use it to make bots, which is basically a dumpling with meat and maybe a little bit of onions in it, where they fold it, which I still don't know how to get the fold correct, and okay. they put them in here to steam for however long until the meat is done. If you look at this, this is my only lonely stove top. I cook everything on here because this is the only one that gets hot. The one on under here, the two that are under here, don't get hot at all. Also, 
moving here. This is a traditional thing in Mongolian households. There's always candy and tea ready for guests who come visit. And it is typical for you to refill the tea every time it is empty. The person has to always sit down and consume the tea. They cannot stand and consume the tea. Welcome to the second half of the house. So, basically, this is the office, living room, TV room, slash entertainment room, slash, I don't know, room. Oh, and also closet, but we'll get to that. First, let's start with this section of the house. If you look up here, you will see two blue scarves, which are called khadak in Mongolian. And they are, they were given to us as representations of the land of blue sky, welcoming us to the country. Here are some books that have been handed down to us from uh, previous volunteers. Others I have had delivered to me in a package and some I brought with me from the States. If you look here, there's Mongolian language books that are supposed to be used but are never used. Uh, but moving on, we also have methodology books and skill books that we use also. This is the Peace Corps issued medical kit, which has a plethora of items for all your medical needs. And I do mean all your medical needs. This is a dartboard that I bought for 10,000 Tugrik which is about five dollars American but I can tell you I suck. <laughs> so this area here is the music section. I have some broken headphones though I'm getting new ones in a package soon and also we have this lovely acoustic guitar. It belonged to an M23 named Vin who lived in Halsensom, and that som is about two hours south of Barnurt. As you can see, I can't play, but I have been practicing. Not that that shows it. Over here, you will see what looks like a blanket, but my clothes are under here. I keep my clothes in here because I don't feel like I need a dresser. So, it's convenient, it's short, it's easy to close up when visitors come. Next, we have my bed. It's a lovely red futon underneath with the Peace Corps issued sleeping bag taken apart. And so it has multiple layers that you can take apart and use as quilts. Uh, this also doubles up as a couch. There you go. And you can have a seat with your guests. Usually we take this time out to spend with site mates and we watch movies, listen to music, and just hang out and play games. Let there be light. If you look over in this corner, we have something not all volunteers have. Precious, precious Wi-Fi. This is what supplies Netflix, YouTube, Facebook, emails, whatever. But it is time for you to go and I have some things that I need to watch on the Tubi Tube. So, it's time for you to GTFO out my crib. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. One more thing. This is my camera. Bye! Hi, <laughs> <laughs>
dele. 